Time for the second test of EV mode with using the charging mode while driving. This time, after charging the battery, the computer showed me the range of almost 33 miles in electric mode. There are several combustion tests available on YouTube, in which each of the testers claimed to get the so-called result. 350 miles per gallon was obtained in one of the tests. I will of course show you the real range and real consumption without using eco-driving and any economical driving. I think doing so will be the most reliable of all tests that you can find online. As I did in the EV mode test, this test will involve me going from point A to point B and back again, but in this test the total will be 50 miles distance one way. The total distance of the trip will be over 100 miles. I started the test in the town of Scarborough, in electric mode, without eco-driving in a mixed cycle. I then traveled a total of 27 miles, the electric range ended outside the town of Whitby. I then used the option of charging the battery while driving. For those who aren't familiar with this model, Prius includes this option. When using the charging while driving option, Toyota declares only a 10% increase in fuel consumption compared to driving in a typical hybrid mode. The plan was simple, to charge the battery whilst on country roads and then using this recovered energy for driving in areas where the speed limit is up to 30 miles per hour the maximum speed allowed is 60 miles on country roads. As you can see with each passing mile, Prius recovered an average of one mile of electric range. Now, I have to correct the statement of some journalists from some of the popular YouTube channels, some of which claim that the option of charging can be only used whilst driving on the motorway. In the next step of the test, I will show you that this option can also be used driving in town and even whilst moving in traffic. Let's get back to the test. After driving 17 miles in charging mode, I managed to regain energy for almost 17 miles while in electric mode. After 50 miles, the average fuel consumption was 102.8 miles per gallon. The only objection I had was I had to read speed limit signs, as sometimes the car showed a limit of 100 miles per hour, as you can see now, while the maximum allowed speed was 30 miles per hour. Driving further is pure benefit of using the charging option. I use this option also in driving in the town. This is what you can see now. And now the most important observation, charging the batteries while driving in the town can regain more energy than whilst driving outside the town when traveling the distance of 1.1 miles, I regained energy for 1.4 miles, which is better than I thought. I don't know why none of the larger automotive websites and YouTube channels haven't tested the charging mode in proper way. Maybe they just haven't wanted to. All in all, I traveled 100 miles in a mixed cycle with an average speed of 31 miles per hour. The car went on 1 kilowatt hour for 4.1 miles. In more simple terms, the car used 15.2 kilowatt hours for 60 miles. I traveled 57% of the route in electric mode, and in total the whole route took a total of 3 hours and 12 minutes. The average fuel consumption was 103.9 miles per gallon. If I would have used the eco-driving style, I could achieve up to 350 miles per gallon. And what do you think of the EV range and fuel consumption of the plug-in Prius? Please leave your comments below the video. Please feel free to subscribe to my channel and to visit my website, AutoStartTest, at AutoStartTest.com. Thanks for watching, take care of yourself and your four wheels. Head over to AutoStartTest, select your language. 
Use the tabs at the top or click one of the icons at the bottom of the page. Select Auto Review and then choose one of the many cars we have tested so far. All our reviews can be viewed on our website and on YouTube. Under each video you will find a photo gallery for each specific car. You can change your car at any time using the tab above. Then check out our new projects. By clicking on the Auto News you will get news updates from the world of cars. In the Crew tab you will meet those who create the Auto Start Test service for you. If you are a dealer then the next tab is for you. Explore our offer. If you have any questions please feel free to use the Contact tab. At any time you can visit our profiles on Instagram, YouTube and Facebook by clicking on the icons at the top. Welcome to Auto Start Test official website. Please feel free to subscribe our channel. Auto Start Test. You've reached your destination.